There are two factors that are the most important when looking for a new mattress. We're gonna talk about that today. Let's go. So for the years that we've been in the mattress business, customers get the right bed. There have been two things that we need to get right when looking for a mattress. It comes down to two things. Yeah. And a lot of it may sound super obvious. If we could get this right, then we could cut through a lot of the other garbage and fluff that's out there. Gabe, okay, tell me, what are the two most important things that it comes down to when getting the right mattress? First off, comfort, obviously. Obviously right. comfort. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna say that comfort. We're gonna set aside comfort. Set aside. Comfort, yes, is obvious when you're laying out a mattress, you wanna be comfortable. But what we found is like, that's so encompassing that is very just vague, you know? Yeah. It's very subjective. So there's two things that we can be a little bit more objective on when getting the right mattress. Yeah. So first one is gonna be support. Yes. You know. Is the type of support that you're getting in the mattress. Back support that is, not like moral support or back support. Ah, you know, moral support would be yeah, good, that right? Is, that is, yeah. I need it. But back support, yeah. it's not like, uh, you know, pat on the back, but yes. back support. Back support is like the most important thing. That's where the whole like spinal alignment happens. Keeps your spine in alignment or what you're looking for to get a good good night's sleep to be yeah. supported. I mean, you gotta remember, like this is the one product, you're gonna be on this for six, seven or eight hours every night yeah. for the next five, 10, sometimes 15 years. So if you're out of alignment, out of whack, that would take a toll. A lot of times in your 20s, you're, there's more flexibility, there's more forgiveness, yeah. you can get away with it, but it does take a toll. You might not feel it initially, but what I've seen is if you've been on a mattress that's not giving you good support or your sleeping position is bad in your 30s and 40s, you're gonna notice it. Yeah. So back, so how do we know you're gonna get the best? Back support. So, I mean, so first off, like- Give me some examples. Yeah, so first off, like where in the mattress is the support? right it's good having a visual now we have a visual in our showroom where we show customers but really that is the core of the mattress usually in most mattresses now it's like the bottom layer that base layer yes in a mattress that you could flip it'll be like yes. that middle layer inside yeah. there some examples of that would be springs right you got coils I mean, these ones just still have the pocket of coils this is a support layer most of the support should be coming from the support layer now support it can come from the top layer to like yeah. the whole package but most of it is going to be coming from the support layer and, and these ones are pocket coils. Is it always pocket coils or springs? Or springs, it could be very yeah. connected coils. Or connected coils. So that's, could be springs. Yep. Another one, really popular one now, is polyurethane. Polyurethane. Yeah. How did you say it? He could, he, he just, uh, he was like, I, like, I don't yeah. wanna say it. <laughs> Now, this is polyurethane foam. There's different densities of the foam, but this is a very popular one in those like foam mattresses, memory foam beds, yep, right? Yep. A lot that you see in the bed in the box at, uh, at least when they first started out. Yeah, it was more niche, but 20, 30 years ago, but now like with the whole bed in the box, like this is one of the most common support layers out there just yeah. because it's the cheapest and it's the easiest to fold up and roll pack, put it in a box. So it yeah. is very common these days, you know, and it comes in different densities and different firmnesses, but it, it is a very common support layer. Yeah. So that's another support layer. And then another visual would be, you got latex. Latex. Right? Yep. One of our favorites, you know, yep. that we like, but latex is another, is a great support. Yes. This could be in that core of the mattress and that's where it's gonna help big part with like the spinal alignment. Yeah, I mean, and latex, it's almost like springs. You got a little bit more bounce to it. It, a little bit more active support, we say, because it kind of pushes back. Polyurethane is a little bit more dead, you know? It doesn't really flex as well as springs do. Latex is almost like a hybrid because it's rubber. It does a lot of, it's, it's also active support where it does push back, but it also is a little bit more solid too. So it's almost like in the middle between springs yeah. and foam as far as the way it responds to your body. Durability wise, night and day over this. Oh, like for sure. At least two, three, four times at least. So that's support, that's where it's- Support layer. That's the yes. support layer where it comes comes from and then of course you've got like things like air you know you got water air what do you right? mean air air chambers like those air mattresses right oh, like sleep number it's like a sleep number yeah like the sleep number those ones with the bladder almost like a campy mattress that's pretty common yeah and then the old school water beds old school yeah. water beds you know yeah. and that's kind of like almost all support yeah those are there's other ones niche ones you know with coconut and all these other yeah. like very niche ones but those are the main ones that you're gonna see mm -hmm. in the stores the reason why support is so important though that's what the spinal alignment happens. Yes. You know, and it's good to kind of know, hey, what do I have now that I'm replacing? Do I feel like I'm getting support, you know, in that mattress? Yes. 
right? You know, when I'm testing it out, how is it supporting my body? And here's the thing with support. A lot of people would say, you know, back in the day, like this mattress has firm support, great support for you, you know? The firmer the bottom layer was or the spring system was, they say the more supportive it was. It's not true. Here's where really where support comes from. And this is why the support layer is just a part of it, but it encompasses the whole mattress, you know? So ideal support, let's say you're a back sleeper and I'm gonna do a visual, I've done this in other videos, but like if you're standing straight and you know we all have a curve to our back, you know? Ideal support is if you could get a mattress molded to your back, you know? Like how they do those orthotic molds to your feet, you know? If you could get a mattress molded to your back and just get in there, that's supporting you, you know? That's great support. Obviously you can't do that, but that's what we want the mattress to do is conform to your back like that. And that's the support layer and the comfort layers or the pressure point layers are all gonna work hand in hand for that. And I tell the people that when, I, when they're looking for a new mattress, I start there. That means you're gonna sink in a little bit in the mattress, which is okay. Sinking into the mattress is okay. People think you can't sink in at all yeah. to the mattress. And if that's the case, then I would say everybody sleep on something as firm as this. Yeah. But when you don't sink in with the mattress, when you don't, the muscles around the spine, the muscles around the lumbar area are gonna be working overtime and they're gonna be you know, more strained. That's where you wake up with back pain too, especially in the lumbar area, if it's too firm, if it's not conforming enough to your back. Mm -hmm. So that is where we wanna get support. You know, That's why support is so important where it's conforming to you and you're in a relaxed position. Like, so your muscles can just relax. Yeah. You know, support, anything else? Do, do? I think we covered support. I think that's a good, it's good on support. Okay, support. So we'll talk about emotional support and moral support in another video, but let's go to the next one. Yeah, next one. All right, so the other one is going to be, you know, so you got support. Next one is pressure relief. Pressure relief. You know, it's not talked about enough of this, like just, you know, hey, how is it relieving the pressure? And this one could be, take some time, you know, when you're testing Like your pressure? <laughs> no, I'm just yeah. kidding. No. <laughs> yeah, just like your pressure. I'm just being... So pressure relief. Some people say, man, I always have like this, you know, my shoulders falling asleep or my arm is falling asleep or man, I got this really bad hip pain. Well, could be your mattress is causing that pressure. Yes. You know, that's not a good thing. Yeah, the more pressure that you have too, I mean, even though you're sleeping, you're subconsciously your body's feeling that pressure, you're gonna move around and toss and turn a lot more, you know, when there's more pressure on your body. Now there's two types of pressure too. There is that external pressure, like the pressure, the hardness of the mattress, I like to say against your skin. And that's gonna cause that external pressure, but there's also internal pressure too, where like your joints, Joints, your hips, even your organs, there's internal pressure. And that's where a lot of the, your positioning comes in too. Like if you're on your back or on your side, you know, your organs, they're gonna have different pressure. You know, one example is when females are pregnant, they have to sleep on their side because there's too much pressure inside their body. So there is positioning and internal pressure. And a lot of times is how you sleep and also the, an adjustable base can relieve that internal pressure. Sure. But the more pressure that you have, you are gonna move around and toss and turn yeah. a lot more. The problem problem with that is we're trying to get into deep REM sleep. I mean, we all want to sleep good. When you're moving around, tossing and turning, you're not going to get that deep REM sleep and it's going to interrupt your sleeping cycle. So if you can get less pressure and have better support, it's going to give oh, you yeah. a more relaxed position. And, and where does that pressure relief come from though? What layers are they typically? Good point. Yeah. Yes, now where does it? Yeah, so so typically, so you got the support, that's the base layer, right? And then you got the, the padding on top of it. Yes. Right, we call those the comfort layers. Again, they all work hand in hand with support and pressure relief, but this is where most of the pressure relief comes from is those comfort layers. Padding. The padding inside the mattress. Yes, the layers right on top of the, the support layer. Yep, and that goes down to there. what materials you're using. So they're working like support layer, right? This is where the support's coming from. And then we're gonna go with the, the pressure relief, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the, the top layer, the padding on yes. top of it. Some people may need a little bit more padding in it, you know, on top of the support layer. Yep. Some people just need something very minimal for better pressure relief. You know, this is where it all starts at. Yeah, and a lot of times like people think when they have an older mattress, the mattress gets softer, but sometimes the older mattress, it actually could get firmer because what happens is, I'll use memory foam as an example, the more compression that it gets, it loses some of that elasticity. You kind of just like sinks in and you hit that bottom layer a lot sooner. An older mattress can actually firm up over time 
time because you're losing that elasticity in the comfort layers, in the padding, you know? So you're no technically, or your mattress is not gonna get softer over time. Sometimes it can get firmer, you know? And then that's gonna cause more pressure. That you've shot basically that whole pressure, you know, the comfort layers. is dead. Now you went right through it and now you're going to more of that support layer. Yes, okay. So that is pressure. And then also, I'm not gonna go too much into detail with the internal pressure when it comes to positioning, but we'll do some more videos with adjustable bases. We've done some, but that does a great job too at taking away that pressure on the either joints, your bones, your organs, your breathing, even your heart. So what we're just really trying to do is we're trying to stack the deck as much as we can in your favor so you can get better sleep. That's yeah. really what we're trying to do. So like when you're testing out the mattress, right? Here's a yeah. takeaway, right? When you're testing out the mattress to figure out, you get in the bed first, going in the mattress, Store, you're lying down, ah, feels good. But a lot of times you're you're going into the store, you're a little bit more tense. Yeah. Because you know it's it could be awkward. You're with the sales guy and you know you're just lying down in front of him and it could just be kind of awkward. Your body's not fully relaxed. So we like to say give five to ten minutes to kind of see how you sleep. So if you're a side sleeper, lay on your side. See, are you feeling that pressure? Yep. Shoulder, are you feeling it on your hip? Or is it like, oh, it feels good initially, and all of a sudden you start feeling this pressure come on? Hey, you know what? That might not be the right match for you. Yeah, like Gabe was saying is like as when you're testing out mattress like so how do you know okay am i getting the good pressure relief am i getting good support you know do what gabe was saying is that take your time on the mattress because like we we're saying we found that when you're the first five minutes you're a little bit tense you know yeah. Oh, yeah. So again, give yourself some time, see if there's any hot spots, like pressure spots. If you're a side sleeper, yeah, lay on your sides. If your arm's falling asleep, those are the things when you're mattress shopping, take your first get in, trying out beds, your initial response on the feel of the mattress, you know, go with that. That's a good initial response. But when you've narrowed it down to like two or three, take at least five, preferably 10, 15 minutes on each one. That gives yourself some time for your body to get more relaxed. And then you could feel any of those uncomfortable spots. Yeah. Yeah. So here's what we found. So like we talked about comfort being like the big encompassing, mm -hmm. you know? So pressure relief plus support equals comfort. Yep. That's what we say. So if you get the pressure re relief right, if you can get the support right, that's gonna equate to comfort. Yeah. It is, a lot of it is very subjective. A lot of it is like trial and error and trying it out. One thing we've really tried to do is like, how can we make it a little bit more objective, more simple? So do your the mattress testing, but we actually brought in a tool in our stores to make it a bit more objective and it's that it's what is it yeah, it's a pressure mapping we call it comfort mapping comfort map you know and uh what there is there's 1600 sensors in this mattress yes right and a lot of like medical professionals use it it's actually built around for different industries yeah but works great in the mattress because what you do is you lie down yes and then what it's doing is testing support and also pressure based yeah. on how you sleep it's saying this is the kind of support that your body should you know go to right like to get the ideal support and then here's a type of comfort layer or pressure relief that you need. So, yeah, it's really cool. Because it, it points you and it helps save some time like when you're testing out mattresses because some people think I got to test them all. Well, this kind of cuts, I mean, it could cut almost two thirds probably. Oh yeah, it's really cool. It's a really cool tool. It's not the end all be all, but it's yeah. a good starting point that we've used. So you're not plopping down on beds and saying, okay, does this one feel good? Yeah. This gives us a good launch pad when we're testing out customers. Like I said, there's 1600 sensors in this thing. And if we could line up what the computer is saying mm -hmm. with what your body is saying, we got to the right bed. Right. You know, I don't know if there's ever been a time that we didn't get the right bed mm -hmm. for them when the computer and their body was saying the same exact oh, yeah. thing. So yeah. yeah, it is a great tool, but we realize not everybody has access to that. So do what we did, do the comfort test and take the time on those mattresses to see how your body is responding to it. So that's what it comes down to. Yep. Pressure relief, support equals comfort. Gabe, and then anything else? Yeah, so let's wrap it up. Obviously, if you're watching this, you're looking for a mattress. So we've got a mattress shopping guide. Yep. It's in the notes. Yeah, in the notes. Go and uh, download it. It's free to you. And then, of course, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. You can send us an email. And we'd love to just kind of help you in that mattress shopping journey and select the, the right mattress that's for you. And then check out these two next videos. We have we do videos that we open up mattresses, like name brand mattresses, and take them apart, see what's inside. You can see their pressure point or pressure relief materials, the support layer, what's inside of them. And also, we go deeper in mattressology, some cool tips to make your mattress shopping journey easier. So thanks for watching. Thanks. Good night. God bless. Sleep well.